Okay, so I'm Robert Aguirre. I'm the president of the Santa Clara County Homeless Union. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm very glad to be able to uh, do this for you. And I hope you learn from this. And, and I'm Anthony Prince. I'm the uh, lead organizer and the general legal counsel. So I'm the attorney for the Homeless Union and I'm the lead organizer for the Homeless Union. Most of my background is in uh, on the workplace where I was a union organizer on a job setting, an employment setting. And I'm trying to apply some of that experience now to organizing the poor and homeless uh, in California. So we are part of the California Homeless Union and the union uh, is I think what now 18 chapters uh, throughout the state of California. And the, the concept of a union is to gather people together that have a common interest. And right now the common interest is the people that are unhoused and we're trying to give them uh, whatever uh, information they need so that they can then learn to speak for themselves, have their own voice, uh, represent themselves at uh, city council meetings or what, school board meetings or any other kind of meetings where they can try to get their uh, whatever uh, burdens they're facing, whatever barriers they're facing, to bring them to light so that they can relieve uh, some of the pressures that are going on because it's very, very difficult living outdoors. And um, if anybody's ever done that for any period of time, any length of time, uh, you'll soon realize that there are a lot of things out there that, uh, that don't work the way they do if you are housed. You can't get into places that you would normally be able to get into. People treat you differently uh, and it's a certain kind of discrimination. And, and sometimes those things are reinforced by city laws or county laws or state laws. And the whole idea here is that if we can gather enough people together, we can do something not just at the local level, but at the statewide level, because we have so many chapters. And as, as these chapters grow, they get stronger and stronger. And then we have greater representation and uh, not just uh, with our voices, but also with our vote, because we become uh, voting uh, block where we can actually uh, elect people that we think that are sympathetic to our our cause our condition and and try to bring about change that's going to be a positive change for us and it's very important that people become involved in this whether you're housed or unhoused so that you can then uh, help change things for the good for the better okay well i don't have too much to add to what robert said about the union uh, I think I, I know we're making uh, this presentation for uh, students who are learning and I think that that's a good thing because uh, when you're learning about something you should you should learn uh, as much as you can and you should not accept the stereotypes you should go beneath the stereotypes and examine the situation for yourselves do the necessary research and I, at the same time I'll bet there's plenty of you in this in these classrooms who just uh, uh, are have seen by the coronavirus, by the uh, fact that people are losing their jobs uh, as a result of the virus, as a result of plants closing, as a result of jobs just simply being eliminated. Sometimes, uh, sometimes jobs are being eliminated by technology and uh, thousands of people will just automatically all, all of a sudden be thrown into the streets, find themselves uh, unable to pay the rent, end up homeless. 10% uh, of all the college students in the United States are homeless. You guys know homeless people, or maybe some of you are struggling with an unstable housing situation. So uh, what we're about is ending homelessness. Once again, if you study and you learn, you can see that there's 18 million vacant units in the United States. 18 million unit, 18 million spaces where human beings could live as human beings and yet the government refuses to uh, provide the housing that is already out there, let alone build uh, new housing. So we're, we're, we're not playing games. Uh, we're not just trying to help the homeless here and there. We're not a charity. Uh, we're not uh, an organization that is going to take advantage of homeless people. We're organizing homeless uh, people, and not just those visibly homeless on the streets or in the camps, but the hidden homeless, people doubling, tripling up, with other families, people in their cars, families in these motels and hotels on various vouchers or whatever. There's a lot of hidden homeless as well as the visible homeless. So that's what we're all about. Uh, we're out here on the Freedom Ride, the Homeless Freedom Ride, like Robert was saying. We've been through, by the time we get to Sacramento on Saturday, uh, September 4th, we will have gone through maybe close to 20 cities and towns up and down 
of the state of California. We're learning about the conditions. We're, we're building new homeless union locals. We definitely want to recruit students. We definitely want to recruit young people. You guys, they say young people are the future, but I say they're the present. You know, what you can do right now as young people studying, learning, uh, you are going to be absolutely critical to change the situation in the United States. If you study history, young people have been at the front lines of making social change, you know, uh, throughout all of, of American history. And we're at a historical point right now. So we're happy to share more information with you about the union. And we appreciate the opportunity to make this presentation to you.